So what do you got on the menu today? Right, today on the menu we're making prawn curry. We're going to make our own curry paste. It's really fast and easy, lightened up with coconut milk. And we're going to make our own fresh homemade naan breads. And it's really easy and that's what I'm going to get on now. So we've got flour in here, we've got a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, baking powder in here as well. And some milk and a little bit of oil. And then we're just going to make a little well, pop that in and just sort of mix it all together. So this is a great one for the kids at home as well. Make the mix and then you need to, you need to knead it so it's nice and smooth. So that'll take about, well, I don't know, five, six minutes. To, you know, if you're, uh, if, if you're nice and fast. What is this? <laughs> Why is it over? That's for I, him to stand on so he's not so short. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's mark, yeah. I'm never going to be nice to you in the kitchen again, Mike. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so you can see it's just coming together now. And now you want to get your uh, hands in there and knead it. And you're just using the palm of your hand and sort of stretching it. So just let it sort of come together in a ball. If it's a little bit wet, just use the excess sort of flour what you've got on the surface. If it's still really wet, add a little bit more. But once it sort of comes to that stage, it's sort of soft, a little bit tacky. We don't need to add any more flour. So we just need to get this nice and smooth. So we're just going to knead it, knead it, knead it. Then we want to cover it in a bowl for about sort of 10 minutes. Just let it relax and rest. And then when we come back a bit later, we're going to roll them out and we're going to cook them in a nice non-stick pan, really hot, really fast and easy. And then we'll come back and make the prawn curry as well. In the Mastercraft kitchen with my old friend Chang Hung from The Edge. Now, who would have thought, Chang, years ago we'd eat raw onions and eat chilies like this. How about we, we do a challenge here? You eat that and I eat this. No, 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 no. no? Okay. No, no. Uh, we're going to talk politics soon because Chang is about to become a politician. Well, fingers crossed. A couple of rules. You've got to know how to kiss babies and you've got to know how to cook. Okay. Oh, oh no, Mike is not a baby. Sorry. <laughs> no, far from it. <laughs> We've been there, done that. Have um, we? <laughs> anyway. How can I not know about this? <laughs> Mark, naan bread, how are you going? Right, so we made the dough, so we've been kneading it, so it's nice and smooth now. It's just been resting a little bit, and we'll just divide it up into sort of like five or six little pieces, and we're going to roll that out, out nice and thin. Well, first, together, yes. I'm going to get you to blend the onion, chilli, and ginger together in the blender. So Ooh. just chop it up. So okay. roughly Mike, chop you it, chop. I'll blend. I'll blend it into a nice paste, okay, and then deal. I'm going to start rolling the naan bread out. Okay, nice. Please don't cut your fingers, Mike. No, I'm, yeah. I'm skilled in the kitchen now, Chang. Oh, are you now? <laughs> yes. Ah, you, you can cook. Yeah, okay. Yes, <laughs> it's <laughs> in. <laughs> um, so I reckon a lot of people have probably never made their own naan bread. No, I haven't. So I always just buy it in stores. So. Or the ready-made ones in the supermarket, sir. So. Well, well it's, really, it's really easy yeah. to make, so there's no excuse. So you can make it at home now. How much do you want these chopped? Yeah, just roughly chopped, because you right. are going to blend it, so that's okay. cool. Do you want the green bits at the...? Uh, no, no, no green bits. Mm. Like, <laughs> just be careful. I'm like really scared of you in a night. Hey, that's all right, Chang. How are you feeling about your upcoming election, anyway? Well, it will it, be fine. So, uh, like, I'm a newcomer, so I've joined a political party, which is uh, City Vision, a combination of uh, Labour, Greens and... Community independent. So, nice. so what do I do here? What, what, what uh, do just, I press? Just turn it on. Turn it on. Do, I, do not need a knee, a lead, or something. Oh no, just hold it on. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, there, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Give it a shake. More water. A glass of water. Ooh. Okay. Give it a shake. Okay. Well, we're ruining the segment for you, Mark, <laughs> aren't we? As usual. Right. It's the non bed. Uh, we've rolled it out nice and thin. So really hot pan, no oil. So this has been heating for about sort of five minutes. Okay. So you can feel the heat coming off that. You said no oil? No oil, just throw it oh, straight really? in. Oh, really? Non-stick? Nope. Oh, okay. It's a non-stick pan. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> See, shows how much I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is like me the first week of the cafe. Right. <laughs> okay. Right, so a little bit of uh, oil in a, in a nice big saucepan. Uh, and then we're going to... Did you put the ginger in? Oh! oh. <laughs> Hang on, let me try and turn this on again. again. Uh oh, we're going to have a problem here. Come back tomorrow when yeah. we'll finish the curry. <laughs> it's, it's blending at the moment, it's blending. Just pretend it's blending. Okay, it's done. Oh, there we right, go. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Just need the professional touch. So, we're just going to warm the oil up and just fennel Greek seeds and black mustard seeds. And we're just going to okay. slowly toast them. Ooh, it smells really good. It's good, that's a good sign. Okay. Give it, give it a shake around, there you go. It's too many to plan something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done now, Mike. We're done. Don't switch it off. That's right. all That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd stick to politics, actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm not Mike Peru. <laughs>
Okay, so what are you putting in there? Right, so we've got the uh, fennel Greek seeds, black mustard seeds, and we've got the curry leaves as well. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's, a bit, it's, a bit, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit textured. <laughs> Maybe we'll put that look in. Look at that! What are we going to eat there? <laughs> Obviously, if you're at home and you've got a little bit more time, just blend it down to a nice paste. And then we're just going to toast this in the pan now. So just about 30 seconds to a minute over a nice sort of medium heat. You can see that here, that's sizzling now. That's going to start flavouring all the oil and bring out all those aromas of the spices. Right. I tell you what we're going to do. I tell you what. We'll leave that. We're going to fix this <laughs> up and then we'll come back to the kitchen and show you how it's supposed to be done um, without Chang and I ruining Paul Mark's <laughs> segment. So over to you, Mel. Right, here's our... Uh, this, is, this is what the um, blended onions, <laughs> chilli and ginger is supposed to look like, right? So we're going to get back to the curry. So we just toasted the fennel Greek seeds here and the black mustard seeds and the curry uh, leaves. I'm going to pop this in and you want to saute this for a couple of minutes. Can you smell all that? Yeah, smells <laughs> really good. So we're just cooking that now as well. We've got the ginger in there as well, which you can start smelling that. So just a couple of minutes. And then we've got some cracked black pepper. Pop that in and some turmeric as well. That's going to give us a fantastic colour. So just get all that cooking, and it'll start going down to a paste now. Right, and then the naan bread's here, so we've just cooked them in a hot pan. It's got a nice bit of colour on both sides, so once the hollow, if you tap it and you can hear it, it's nice and hollow. You can take it out, and we've just brushed it with a little bit of garlic butter. We're just going to serve that on the side of the prawn curry. Right, you can see it's getting dry now, so we've got some coconut cream. So pop that in there. And then we're just going to bring this to the boil, and then we'll cook our <laughs> cook our prawns in. <laughs> right, so the curry's boiling. We get our prawns. So these have just been shelled. So we're just going to sprinkle them in. These won't take long to cook at all. So just make sure they're all sort of down there. Bit of nice stir, and we're just waiting for them to cook. Got a little bit of lime juice here and some chopped coriander. So I'm just going to season it with a bit of lime juice. And then once the prawns are cooked, we'll put the chopped coriander in and serve. How's it looking? It looks delicious. Mmm. I tell you what, it smells so good. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. Okay, and you can get that recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Maybe something you could try over this weekend, actually. Oh, yeah, it smells just so, so good.